James Corden spotted at Sussex Mansion to buy back the estate with low price. Julia attested Meg's big debt. James Corden was spotted dining with his family at Lucky's Steakhouse after jetting back to the US following his relocation to the UK. The TV personality quit the Late Late Show and ditched Hollywood last month before moving back to the UK with his wife Julia and the three children. But James has jetted back stateside for a visit and even made a stop at Prince Harry and Meghan's $14 million Montecito estate. Afterwards, James stepped out in a bright blue hoodie and jeans while accessorising with black sunglasses. The star was joined by wife Julia, who looked chic in a black coat, and his kids, who he hugged while leaving the restaurant. According to some sources from James Hollywood Friends, James Corden shows up at the Harkles' house to buy their mansion before he leaves for America, because Meghan's $14 million property is being sold at a cheap price, around $9.5 million. James wants to buy it then refurbish it and sell it to another owner for a higher price. James's move came as a rescue to the Harkles' financial crisis, when other rich owners refused to buy the mansion because of its deteriorating state. In addition, James Corden's wife Julia also revealed that the Sussexes are deeply in debt now. How much debt do you think they're in? It's estimated to be around 20 million. Annual property taxes for the Olive Garden are somewhere between 75,000 and 1.5 million dollars plus a mortgage payment and maids, nanny, cook, groundskeepers, pool maintenance, electric, gas, water bills. Meghan and Harry are in for a lot of money and they're short of sources to get it. Then you've got travel, food, clothing, children's school, etc. And just 18 months after the Sussexes moved into their $20 million Montecito mansion, the couple are already looking to sell the house. They didn't get the 100 million nor the 50 million from Spotify. That's for production costs. They're only paid if Netflix or Spotify opt the project and they get like a million or two per picked up project. His money is gone and so is hers. Security is six million a year, plus her awful clothes. Meghan wouldn't have been earning big money given a role and she was basically unknown. Maybe towards the end, but nowhere near the kind of figures that have generated five million dollars after tax, lawyers, agents and PR. She spent every last penny keeping up with a rich friend's lifestyles. Moreover, Meghan and Harry need to grift off friends' private planes and places to stay and you don't hear about them going on any exotic trips, so sounds like money's tight. Harry even had to promote the suit he was wearing to the coronation so that he could afford to wear it. I feel like they're the type of people who no matter how much they have, they'll always want more and will always outspend their income. Earlier, a report suggested that the duo are said to not be thrilled about the property. Sources told the paper that they're open to private offers. The sources said they're thinking of selling their home. However, it won't be on the market because of who they are. It's only being shown to people who are confirmed with funds and are serious buyers. All of which is curious given that last year, during Harry's appearance on the Late Late Show of James Corden, when the duo video called Meghan, she said at one point, I think we've done enough moving. While Harry and Meghan have repeatedly made headlines since 2020, inking one high-profile deal after another, the shiny new US careers in terms of actual output have outwardly remained in neutral.